And here's part two. Continuing off with more emulators. First is the Sega Genesis. Developed by different people from the Nintendo one, but essentially the same with this version of the emulator because it has a pointer interface. Just go to load game, it has a recent list, that's cool. And you can load up a game through the SD card, USB or DVD. All my games are on USB hard drive. And you can just scroll up and down with the up and down arrows. I think the Wii remote sideways right now. You could also use the classic controller or a GameCube controller. And plus and minus for page down, page up. Gonna go all the way down to a classic Genesis game, Sonic the Hedgehog. The games could also have cover images on the right. You can see they're blank, but I didn't bother with all that. Too many games. All the games are zipped too, so it takes up even less space. At least all the old school and uh, Nintendo and Sega games. Yeah. With the emulators, you have a lot of options for like video playback and stuff. Exit to loader, going back to the system menu. But back to the options, uh, the only thing I play around with might be um, the widescreen aspect. I, I prefer 4x3 or, or original because the games weren't in widescreen anyway, so why stretch it out? Other than that, all the games are, are the same. I don't play around with the options. Maybe button mapping, because uh, I can map it out whatever I want on the GameCube controller. I don't have a classic controller, not yet at least. Here is the TurboGrafx-16 emulator. All I did was go to load game and USB and it's the same thing. Only thing different is it doesn't have the pointer interface so it's all clicking around on the D-pad. It's the same thing for the Sega Masters and and Game Gear emulator. That's one emulator, by the way. I guess Sega Masters and Game Gear were the same uh, coding. But yeah, I, I didn't even know anybody with uh, TurboGrafx-16, so it's cool to play those old school games. And I believe that's it for emulators. Nintendo 64 is the same thing, just looks different. Uh, well, same thing as like Nintendo and Genesis ones, you can point around. All you gotta do is click load game and find the game you want. But not all games work with the Nintendo 64 one. Here's M Player, my media player. I use it for uh, RIP DVDs and uh, standard def TV shows. That's as high as it goes for the Wii, but it looks great. Streams it fast. Go to open, file. You can also play DVD videos, some but not all. And it'll only play the main feature, no highlights or anything. In my SD card, I have a videos folder, nothing in it though, because I prefer to use uh, the network streaming with, through SMB. And I use I have a TV shows folder, but I don't have anything right now. So here's my snowboarding movies. And it's pretty quick. There's wireless network, of course. I don't have the USB wired for um, the Wii. And my computer is wireless too. So there's an on-screen display for a little info time, basically. You can skip around by hitting right for five seconds and up for five minutes. Left and down, go back. This is a really good movie. Voted, I think, number one or, or best movie of the year uh, on Transworld. Double cork 1080 right there. B to get to the menus and went back to quit. 
what's next uh, so my videos I have a couple other apps that I just have because they're cool to have I haven't really opened them in a while like we earth and we radio we earth is like Google Earth but even more maps a few couple more maps radio streaming radio wad manager is what I use to install the custom channels all these channels also use it to install we were games. It installs the We Were Games to We to the Wii memory, and then I use the regular memory manager on the Wii to move it to the SD card. World of Goo, definitely the best We Were game available so addicting it's a puzzle game and we explorer is the last app i'm going to show it's basically like windows explorer but for the wii so i could view view files copy paste delete and actually while i was doing this there's a little update um, usually i hit okay but i'm showing a demo right now so i have a few files i could just delete right now I hit plus, it's like right click. And multiple files by hitting one, it highlights it blue. I could also access that same uh, hard drive or computer across the network. So if I want to copy something from my computer over, it could work too. It's not too bad, it's not the fastest. If it's a really, really big file like a video, I might just, well, stream it, of course. Or uh, I could just take out the SD card and do it, walk it up to my computer. And that's pretty much it. Got my Wii games, my emulated ones, media player, extra things like Wii Earth, Wii Radio, and my system menu. Hope you like it.